Hello violin players, welcome to Pro Arm Strings. I'm Henriette and this lesson is all about the D major scale for grade one. And I'm hoping that you will be joining me today with your instrument. We're going to learn the D major scale from scratch and we're going very, very slowly so that you've got lots of time to learn it. And by the end of this video, you should be able to play this D major scale from memory and you should be able to play it expressively, just as you are expected to play it in your grade exam. So get your violin, let's get ready, and let's have a look at our scale book for a start. If you are preparing for a grade one exam, I would assume that you have this scale book, Scales and Arpeggios, from the ABRSM set for grade one. Now, if you open this scale book, you can see that it has two sets of scales in, one set is called even notes and in my book it's on page two and we're going to ignore that and we're going to pick the section where it says long tonic here at the top on in my book this is page three we're going to learn the scales with a long tonic you have the option in your exam of playing one or the other but i think from a violinist's perspective it is slightly better in my view to play the scales with the long tonic and that's why I'll be teaching you this today. So by the end of this video you should be able to play this scale like this. And that's where we're heading during this lesson. But we're going to start very slowly just exploring which notes we're playing. We're playing every note of the scale twice with long bows. So will you join me on your violin? I'll count us in for two. One and two and exact same way but that time we're going to play it with a piano accompaniment and the reason why we're playing it with a piano accompaniment is that you can check your notes to check that they are perfectly in tune so again we're going to stay really slow so that gives you the opportunity to listen very carefully to each note and to adjust your finger if you need to make any changes to blending your note with the sound of the piano so when you're ready, here we go. One, and, two, and.
you've never done this before, that will, felt, will have felt very, very different. And you're doing great just to explore this scale in different ways. Well done. Now in this next playing, we're going to work on the intonation, on the tuning of your notes even more. And we're going to hold on to the third finger and we're going to check the third finger on the D string once we get there with the open G string. And then we play further up the scale and then when we hit the third finger on the A string, let's check it with the open D string, shall we? So here we go, I'll count us in one and two and... with the open G string. Can you hear if your finger has gone absolutely perfectly in tune or whether it was perhaps a little bit sharper than you would have wanted or a little bit flatter than you would have wanted? And once you've worked that out, can you adjust your finger? Let's go back to the beginning one more time. Three and... low so that you get it perfectly in tune. Check it again. Oh, we're starting at this note now and we're going down the scale. So I think that you have now improved on your tuning, haven't you? So now it's time to play the scale in the way it's printed in your book. So we're going to play a long D and we're going to play that with the whole bow. Then all the quavers, or if you're in America, eight notes that follow, we play at the upper half of the bow. Then the high D at the top, we're playing with a long bow again the quavers or eighth notes that follow at the lower half of the bow and we'll finish with the long bow at the end. We're going to go at this pace. One, two, and three, and four. And here we go. And... <laughs> this with the long bow and the half bows you will get a better quality sound so this on this next playing we're going to practice that again and I want you to try and play it from memory as well we've played it a number of times over so I'm guessing that you might know this off by heart by now one two and three and 
bow and beautifully in tune and all the correct notes you will also have to perform this scale and that means you have to play it like your best ever piece that you've ever played so we're going to work in our next play on quality sound and you can create that quality sound by structuring your bow with the whole bows and half bows like we've already done but this time I want you to add playing crescendo so gradually getting louder to the top note and then as you've reached the top note stay loud for the remainder of this scale so crescendo and then staying loud all the way through one two and three and four and <laughs> default mode of playing so you always play to the best of your ability and that is not only going to help your scales but it's going to help all the other music that you'll ever play in your life so that was really lovely well done can we now try playing it slurred if you look at that big box at the top of your page in your book you can see how the slurring is organized and the bowing I always think is slightly easier again when we slur it because we play the first note which was already a whole bow, but then also every group of two notes that follow also with the whole bow. So everything in this scale is played with the whole bow. One, two, and three, and four, and... <laughs> slurring it just now you may have noticed that there is a string crossing which is slurred so when we play here the third finger and the A string they are both on the same bow so during the slur you cross from one string to another and the same happens as you come down the scale again you've got an A and a G slurred and I want you to listen out for that slur and really look after it because in your music I don't really want to hear that you're crossing the strings you see so it's completely unobtrusive in there let's try that one two and three and four and <laughs> best go wasn't it really well done and I'm thinking you have improved tremendously during the course of this lesson so congratulations you've done a brilliant job I would like you to keep following this course so come back tomorrow and we're going to play the D major arpeggio in that lesson thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon goodbye <laughs>